Hey, it's Captain Brian, and we just uh, finished upgrading the last of our three uh, old tube TVs to flat screens. And uh, the hardest part was figuring out how to get the old TVs out. Each TV was mounted to a blackboard uh, on the bottom of it, and uh, it was screwed in three different ways. Uh, so this one was screwed in from the front, uh, from the top, just two screws, so it was easy to find the screws, but then the TV and the board wouldn't slide out past this trim piece. And uh, so we had to pry that off. It's just Christmas tree clips in there. So, you know, just pry it off carefully and then and pop it back on. So that, uh, and then the next trick was figuring out how to mount the, the swing arm. Uh, so I had to put a piece of wood in, uh, screw a piece of wood in there to, to mount that too. So that worked out. We got Netflix on the boat. That's my death. <laughs> and then this second TV was getting the old one out was a little different. The piece of trim was on the bottom here, and the screws were up through the through the bottom into that blackboard. So, just pried this off, and took those screws out, and the old TV slid out. And then again, I had to uh, put a little piece of wood in there. This black piece of wood here, which I made out of a piece of that blackboard that was on the bottom, and then just screwed that in. Uh, so that it had something flat for this to screw into. So the trick on this one was popping this off. Yep, pulling this the Christmas down. Christmas tree uh, then, screws that were in there. Christmas tree clips, and then and then the screws going up into that blackboard. Yeah. And then the third one was probably the easiest one. The third one, there was no trim to remove. It's too dark in here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Okay. The, this third, this third one, uh, there's no trim to remove. There was just two screws in the front coming in from the top, and then the third screw that was in that little panel inside the the closet. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what did we have to do to get this TV out? All right. So yeah, we're removing this uh, last of the tube TVs on this boat. I had to take this two screw. It's uh, the TV's mounted to this blackboard and uh, two screws in the front here I took out and uh, we also had to this panel inside the yeah so popping that panel off you had to take off a couple of screws it's just one screw holding that board down in the back you can't even see in there because I don't have a light but there's one screw back there and that's how you unplugged it too yep now this can come out okay. bye bye last tube TV and I just have to Screw the cable. Cool. Right about there. So all three of the TVs we, we bought were all the 24 inch Insignia Fire F20 uh, flat screen smart TV. So it has Netflix and uh, you know Wi-Fi connection and everything. Uh, and that fits good in this, this space uh, that was available in all three spots. Uh, and that, that's... So and we're the, setting up right now this one. Yep, this one's uh, connected to the network. We're downloading the latest update setting up netflix and all that good stuff so we're done yeah <laughs> <laughs> i had to get it together get it together shake it off <laughs> to see more about how we replaced our original tube tv with a smart flat screen tv in our salon Watch this video with step-by-step -step on how we removed and installed it on our C-Ray 410 Sundancer. Hope you like this video and subscribe for more from My Boat Life.